Hey there, my name is John, but uh, you probably know that if you're watching this video. A friend of mine has suggested or maybe even challenged me to start a vlog. That is a video log, video blog, something like that. It's a contraction of one of those things, I guess. But uh, just uh, some journal entries in the form of video. And really, I need more practice at this sort of presentation. So, yeah, I'm game for that. Um, one of the things that I thought that I could document around here that might be interesting is this little shed that I have to tear down in a couple of days to make way for another project. And I'll swing around here so we can take a look at it. And what's interesting about this shed is the roof is of an experimental design. It's of a, kind of a strange uh, roofing system called a latex concrete roof, pioneered by a man named George Nez, a, an engineer who was wanting to construct roofs in the third world in disaster prone areas and where roofs had to be built quickly, had to be built out of commonly available materials. And I'll tell you what this roof is made out of. It's uh, made out of uh, some very light wooden framing. Uh, it has a um, regular fiberglass window screen stapled over that in two layers of it, stapled rather tightly over top of that wooden framing. And then a mixture of um, latex material and uh, Portland cement. And in this case, the latex material was found in regular old latex house paint is what we use for that. But uh, I have discovered that the higher quality latex house paint that you use for this, the higher percentage of latex solids that you use in a project like this, the much better off that you are. Because initially that first layer that I made with this was very unsatisfactory and uh, successive layers were better and that's why this roof is held up as well as it has, but it could have been a better roof yet. Uh, but uh, that first latex paint, I bought some cheap latex paint from Walmart and that just did not cut it. Some of the higher quality exterior latex paints are really what you'd be looking for, or just go ahead and buy the uh, latex or acrylic bonding adhesives that you can find at um, Lowe's or Home Depot successive layers after that first layer of fly screen and Portland cement and latex admixture uh, contained one part Portland cement, one part of the latex admixture, and one part sand. And I, in retrospect also, I should have used a finer sand on this because it made a coarser mixture. Still ended up very, being very strong, still ended up being very serviceable. Uh, we'll take a look, closer look at it now so you can get a better idea. All right, here we are up on top uh, of the roof or beside of it at any rate. And you can tell that the uh, paint has sort of uh, given out on it. It's cracked. Uh, you expect it to be leaking, but um, the roof has held up on its own accord. So we're, uh, we're happy about that. But it's a very strong surface. I, would, I could sit on it, stand on it, probably jump up and down on it and be okay. Great properties all around. I'm going to use this roofing system again. Absolutely. It's easily patched. This material adheres well to itself. So if a tree branch went through this roof, it would be very easy to patch the hole. You just have to, to glue some more fly screen to the surface with more of this material and just brush more of it on with a broom and you'd be done. Um, ducking down here into the uh, honestly filthy interior of this building. Uh, you can see that first layer, you know, we had some trouble with it. It cracked just a bit, but it's very smooth. Uh, it would have been smoother had we paid a little bit more attention to what we were doing, but it was a first try. And uh, I will say that since this time, I've used this material to patch all kinds of odd holes in other building projects like chicken sheds, in small cabins, in house underpinning, and things like that. And it holds up really well, and it holds up, more importantly, in the long term. It is a lasting material, so I feel like it's a, a good and ecological use of concrete because it does hold up for so very long. So a quick introduction to a very small latex concrete roof that I built um, nearly a decade ago, but it's still going strong. Uh, I'll say that this material has been very useful to me in other projects as far as uh, patching small holes goes. And uh, we'll be testing this roof on a larger scale on this very spot. And we hope to document that whole process, uh, building a recipro reciprocally framed, if I can get that out, 
roof, which has a conical shape, a shape that would be very difficult to cover with metal or with shingles. But uh, with this material, being plastic as it is, will be much easier to cover. Well, I hope that you learned something from this and um, hope that you'll join me again in the future with these videos. Thanks for watching.